Hi, boys and girls. This week, we're learning about letter F. F makes the sound like fish or frog or fruit loops. So today, we're gonna learn how to write a letter F. When you write a letter F, you do a line down, a line on the top, and a line in the middle. My marker isn't working very good. Line down, a line on the top, and a line in the middle. This is letter F. F says Our lowercase f is a tall letter. It's as tall as the capital letter. You do a hook and a line and a cross in the middle. Here is our lowercase f. F makes the sound Today we are going to learn about an animal that starts with f. It is a frog. A frog. Look at this little frog. Watch. We're going to see if I can get it to hop up to you. Do you see it? He hops. Hops. <laughs> this is kind of a fun toy that you have in your packet that you can see how far your frog jumps. All right, I want to teach you about a frog. A frog is a type of animal that is called an amphibian. And an amphibian means that it can live in the land or it can live in the water. Now, frogs are mostly found in the water, but you probably have heard about tree frogs, frogs that live in the trees, or maybe you've even seen a frog jumping around where we live. Frogs do live by us, but the, usually the frogs that you would see jumping around the ground are actually toads. But frogs are the ones that like to play in the water and swim in the water, and um, they're pretty cool. So frogs have two little feet in the front and two big strong legs in the back. This is just a toy. But um, look up some videos of frogs and you can see it. Now frogs start out as just teeny tiny eggs. And when they hatch, they actually look like a little fish when they hatch. They're actually called tadpoles. So I have a little tadpole here. He has a long little tail. They're kind of gray and slimy and they swim in the water and they eat. And as they get bigger, the tadpole starts to grow some legs. You will see, let me see if I can get my tadpole to grow some legs, look at this. He grows some legs. Now he still wants to stay in the water though because he's still kind of like a fish, but he has those little legs. And as he grows, he then starts getting another pair of legs. These are kind of like his arms, see that? So he's got arms and legs and he's swimming around and he's getting bigger and fatter. And then the next thing you know, he is a full on frog. He gets big eyes and his legs get stronger and his arms get stronger and he can go out of the water and hop out of the water. So that is kind of then from the frog, then the frog lays eggs and it starts all over again. So we have frog, it goes from egg to tadpole to a frog. So here is our little frog. He's pretty cute, huh? Hop, hop, pop, pop. All right, when you do your binder page today, we have our F binder page. Remember to put your name on your paper, put your name. Draw your letter F. Let's draw a letter F in the sky. You draw a line down, a cross on top, and a cross in the middle. And our lowercase f is a hook, and a line, and a cross in the middle. And F says the sound F. So here's our frog, and frogs have really long tongues. They have long tongues that stick out, and they eat flies. My tongue is too, too little, but their tongue goes far, 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 and it's sticky, so it sticks onto the insect, grabs that insect with their tongue, 
brings it into their mouth and eats it all gone. So here is our frog. When you color your frog, make sure to use little wiggles and then draw some flies. Drawing flies are pretty easy. You draw circles for their body and circles for their wings and it will look like a fly. So then your frog can go zoop, eat the fly. Zoop. Mm, they love those flies. So here it says F, F frog eats all flies, then jumps so high up to the sky. So look here and see if you can find any letter Fs. Then when you're ready to make your puppet, remember to put your F paper on the back and here is your cute little puppet. He's got eyes that are on the top of his head. They're on the top of his head so he can sink down into the water, sink down into the water, but his eyes are still up so he can see if any flies are coming or any predators that'll try to eat it. So put the eyeballs on the top. There's a green part of it, the skin of his eye, and then you put on the white of the eye. Here's his mouth. And here is his tongue so he can catch the mouth. Now with his legs, you can have him be a sitting frog. You could put him out to the side that he's jumping. You could put one up and one down. I bet your frog will look so cute however way you decide to do it. So here is our frog puppet. Now the other thing I wanted to teach you is about a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs sitting on a speckled log. So here we have a speckled log and then some frogs that came in your packet. What you're gonna do is take your scissors and you're gonna cut around those frogs so he can go on the log. You don't have to go right exactly on the lines, just kind of around so that we can see. Let's see if I can do it backwards so you can see it. Just right around like that. Okay, so I've got my five little speckle frogs. They've just been taped to the back. That way, when I sing the song, I can fold them down when one jumps into the pool. So this is the song. It goes, five little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are... How many are left? One, two, three, four. Four little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three speckled frogs. Glob, glob. Those are the frogs in the water that are going glob, 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 glob. Three little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three speckled, oh, two speckled frogs. Glob, glob. Two little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one speckled frog. Glob, glob. One little speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. So that's a cute little song you can sing and you can play that game. <clears throat> also, if you can find gummy frogs, those are pretty fun little treat. Sometimes you have to buy them at the grocery store. I found some at the dollar store, but you get a pretzel log and you have your five gummy frogs sit on there and then you can eat them. Instead of saying, one jumped into the pool, you say, one jumped into my mouth. Yum, 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 yum. So enjoy your five little speckled frogs. Now I want to read you a little story about F. This book is not about a frog. It is about a ferret. A ferret is another animal that starts with F. It's kind of like a little like a hamster, bigger than a hamster, but it's long and has a skinny body. 
Now, it starts with F2, ferret. And in our story, our alpha tail story, it has lots of words that start with F and lots of animals that start with F, including a frog. So keep your eyes out and watch for the frog to show up in our story. This is called Fifi Ferret's Flute. When Fifi Ferret was five years old, her father gave her a flute. For you, Fifi. Oh, it's fantastic. Fifi Ferret loved her flute. She played it in the she played it for her family. She played it in the forest and she played it in the fields of flowers. One day, Fifi was playing her flute by the river and suddenly the flute fell from Fifi's hands. Oh, my flute! Do you see where it fell? The flute floated far, far away. Fifi ran after it. The flute floated past Frog, who was catching flies. Follow that flute, cried Fifi. Do you see the frog? There he is, eating his flies. Look at that fly, he's funny. He doesn't want to get eaten. The flute floated past Fawn. Fawn is another name for a baby deer. See that? Who was the flute floated past Fawn, who was <clears throat> nibbling ferns? Follow that flute, yelled Fifi and Frog. The flute floated past Fox, who was eating figs. Follow that flute, yelled Fifi, Frog, and Fawn. The flute floated past Flamingo, who was fluffing her feathers. Follow that flute, yelled Fifi, Frog, Fawn, and Fox. Fifi, Frog, Fawn, Fox, and Flamingo ran fast, but the flute floated faster. Oh no, it's Floating towards the falls, Fifi cried. Fifi Ferret feared her flute would be lost forever. See those waterfalls? All of a sudden, fish leaped from the water. She grabbed the flute right before it fell down the falls. Yay, the fish found the flute. Fifi was so happy to have her flute back. My flute. Thank you, fish. Here's your flute, Fifi. But Fifi was even happier to have such fabulous friends. Friends starts with F2. Boys and girls, I am glad you're my friend and that you come to our preschool. We are happy that you're in our school and we're happy that you are learning about the frog. F, f frog, eats all flies, then jumps so high up to the sky. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, friends.